what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna do a video for all you girls and spouses and moms and dads who have um sons daughters boyfriends girlfriends etc going off to boot camp decided to do it around this time people tend to go to boot camp during the summer as my husband did two years ago so i'm gonna give you guys a do's and don'ts on letter writing so get started before i get into today's video please subscribe turn on that post notification so you can get notified every time i post a new video start off with the don'ts on my notes start off with the don'ts so do not send candy or anything bulky because if you do the drill instructors will make them open it in front of everybody and let's say it's something bulky they make them open it whatever and if it's candy or food which they're not allowed to have they could make them eat it as fast as they can in front of everybody and that, that's not fun. Another don't is don't send colorful envelopes and do not draw on the envelopes. Why? Because it's gonna bring attention to them and that's just attention that's not wanted at that time. What I did is leave the envelope blank outside with the information that you know was needed, but in the inside, I would color the letter as much as I could. I would use different colored papers, different colored pens inside the letter. So as long as it doesn't show on the outside, I think you should be fine because that's what I did. Also, don't spray perfume on it either. Another one is don't write anything outside the envelope that is not necessary. So if it's not the information that needs to be written on there, don't write it. And this one, you might think, oh, it's so cute. Let me send him a private picture. Don't do that. Don't send him a private picture because they don't have any privacy during boot camp and uh they can get in trouble if they find the picture that is there and you don't want anybody else in their platoon to see you know your private spots don't send them or tell them anything negative because it could bring them down and all they need right now is positivity and stuff to lift them up because they're going through a lot at that time so now that i'm done with the don'ts um, I'm gonna give you guys the do's. Obviously, do write them every day because, I mean, they get a letter every day if you write every day, right? So that's what I did. I wrote every day a letter and trust me, it helps them a lot if you write to them as much as you can because they're going so much, you know? Send them pictures, you know, of you smiling with the family. You know, keep them updated with the world. They wanna know what's going on on the outside. You know, you can send them uplifting messages. What I did to Joshua, I would send him like a Bible verse sometimes. Or I would date the day I wrote the letter and stuff like that and number the, the letter so he could like know which letter was in order, which that's what I did. Update them with the news and what's going on on the outside. When Joshua did go to boot camp, Soccer World Cup was going on. So I did let him know like who won the World Cup for soccer and that something you know if your boyfriend husband or son you know is interested in sports and there's something going on let them know what's going on in the envelope make sure you write everything right on there because one you can get it they can send it back to you if it's not written right you write them through the envelopes right it could take several days so that's why they consider it snail mail so what you could also do is there's an app called sandbox and in that app you can send them um like a message and it prints out a colored picture and it sends it to them in a day or two so it's like faster it is it does cost you money to send it so i would send uh through sandbox every so and so like once or twice a month and other than that i would send through regular mail with stamps and everything so now i know most of you guys might not know how to send an envelope with all the information in it so i'm gonna help you guys because I was in your position two years ago and I was looking at uh, YouTube videos. Well, another thing you guys, I know that um, every military branch is different. My husband um, is in the Marines and what I did, I did the biggest mistake. Do not do this if your significant other or child or anything is in the Marines. Um, you do want to write recruit instead of private on their letter because they will get in a bunch of trouble. Um, I know my husband, they made him do a lot of ITs. So that's like, they would work out by themselves. And so he never told me that I wrote it wrong. That's my fault. So if 
you guys have somebody in the Marines or going into the Marines, don't write that on there. Just, just make sure you write recruit because that's what they're considered until they finish what they need to finish to become a Marine. So now you guys, I'm gonna teach you how to fill out an envelope just in case you guys don't know how to fill out an envelope because I know myself, I didn't know. I was in your position two years ago. So don't worry about it, I got you. So we're gonna pretend this is an all white envelope, right? It has no lines, it's all white. Um, so what you guys are gonna start off by doing is you're gonna put your first name and your last name. Then you're gonna put the street you live in with the number of your house. And then you're going to put your city, the state, and the zip code for your information. And now let's go on to your recruit's information. You put recruit, their last name, then their first name. Then you would put their battalion, company, and platoon. Then you put PO box and they will give you the number of their PO box. Then um, the city, the state, and the zip code. And then over here, you're gonna put the stamp right on your, right on the left, you're gonna put your stamp. But you have to wait until they give you their information so you can write it. And make sure you write it correctly because if you don't write it correctly, then you probably will get your letter back. So I'm done with today's video. Please give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And I would like to hear what type of video you guys like to watch. Um, I know we're in quarantine and there's not much I can do except for sit down videos. But I would love to see you guys' suggestions on what type of videos you guys would like to see. And yeah, peace out, Girl Scout. Uh...